Hi, this is Anne. In this video, I'm going to share with you how to trade supply and demand. For those who have been a member of Starship FX, you guys know that I focus on trading the order block strategy. But quite a few people have asked me question whether the order block is the same like supply and demand. If there is a difference, what is the difference? To me, they are almost the same, just slightly different. So, before I show you how to trade supply and demand, let me show you how I trade the order block. And then you will see how closely related they are to each other. So it's up to you, whichever you want to trade. As long as it gives you profits, why not? So here is how I trade the order block. The first thing I want to do is that I want to see a clear break of structure from a swing high, swing low. This is an example of a clear break of structure. And here is a swing high, and this is a swing low. This is the break of structure. If the price breaks below, my order block is the last bullish candle before the breakout happen. That is how I pick the order block for sell order block. So this is a sell order block, meaning when the price come back to this zone, I'm looking for sell. Now, how about buy? I also looking for a clear break of structure. For example, this one. This is a clear break of structure of a swing high, swing low. This is a swing high, this is a swing low, and here is the break of structure, and the price breaks above. If the price breaks above, my order block is the last bearish candle before the breakout happens over here. In this case, because this has already happened, and the price respect the order block, this is a buy order block, and continue its way. So when the price come back here, I'm looking for buy around this area. So basically that's how the order block is working. If the price breaks below, my order block is the last bullish candle. If the price breaks above, my order block is the last bearish candle. So now let's see how closely related between order block and supply and demand. Let's go back to the PowerPoint. So here, how to find supply and demand zone. First step is the same like the order block. There must be a break of structure. It breaks the high, this high, or it breaks the low, this low. Like here is an example in the real market. There is a break of structure to the upside, and this is the break of structure to the downside. I want to tell you something here. When it comes to break of structure, you have two options, whether you want it with the body or with the wick. It's up to you. Some people always want it with the body. Some people can accept with the wig. I can accept both, whichever that looks clear to me. Because let's say this is on daily chart. This wig, when you take it to the lower time frame, let's say M15, you probably will see a body around this wig area. So it doesn't matter whichever you choose that you feel comfortable with for the break of structure. But you want to find a clear break of structure before you mark your supply and demand. So that is the first step. Now the second step, there must be a gap also known as imbalance or fair value gap or FEG or inefficiency or whatever, maybe a hole, a crack, a cut. But to me, it's just a gap. This gap usually coming from the three candle. To put it simple, I put it one, two, three to the upside or one, two, three to the downside. If this one is break above, this one is break below, it's just the same. What you have to do to find the gap you just look for the three candle and you slash number two. Like imagine candle number two is gone. So you can see, is there a gap between number one and number three? If there is the gap, then it will be qualified to become a supply or demand zone. So you know that the break of structure usually happen on number two. Now let's go to step three. The last candle that created a gap after break of structure, that is your supply and demand zone. So here is an example of demand zone. There is the break of structure here, candle number two, and you just slashed it. Imagine it is gone, slash, so you will see between number one and number three, there is a gap, right? So that makes number one as your demand zone. You see the difference with the order block is that whenever there is a break above, your order block is the last bearish candle before the breakout happened. And I often said that whenever there is a week, I also always include the week in my order block, right? So it's almost the same. The zone is the same. It's just the way how they do it for the demand zone. So always remember, 
Once there is the break of structure, just slash number two, see if there is the gap. If there is no gap, for example, let's say like this. So let me put this below. Let's say number two is like this. So there is no gap. So you want to see the next candle maybe from this two, one, zero. Just keep looking after the break of structure. Where is the first gap? Because the supply or demand is the last candle that created a gap. Let's say, for example, here for supply zone, this is the break of structure happened on number two, then you slash number two if there is the gap. So number one is the gap. This is your supply zone. You see this one, fortunately the same, like the order block, right? If it breaks below, your order block is the last bullish candle before the breakout happened. So sometimes they have the same zone like supply or demand so it's really up to you if supply demand is uh, on the block sometimes or sometimes it's not but that is how you find supply and demand zone you want to see a break of structure and then you want to imagine one two three candle slash number two look if there is the gap between one and three if there is no gap slash number one see if there is the gap just keep continue doing that the last candle that created a gap that is your supply and demand zone all right next how to trade supply and demand zone it is almost the same like you trade the order block step one you want to go to daily or h4 to determine market direction in this case if you are a member of starship fx you will receive the order block from us starting from h4 d1 and weekly so once you get the order block from us if you receive buy order block, you know that the market on the lower time frame has a probability to go higher. But if you want to do it your own for trading supply and demand zone or order block, it's the same. Go to daily or H4 to determine market direction and then go to M15, mark M15 supply or demand zone. If you want to go lower, you can go to M5 or M1 to refine supply and demand zone. And then step four, you execute the trade using a chalk or one to three pattern reversal or a continuation if you are new with the word a chalk or one to three pattern reversal you can go to my youtube channel here there is a list the order block trading strategy here is part 12 let's trade as simple as one to three this is the video that will teach you all about a chalk and also one to three pattern this is how you want to execute your trade so you can watch that video now step five your take profit target is the last gap unmitigated supply and demand zone. It's exactly the same like how you trade the order block. If you have a buy order block, you can go to a lower time frame. Let me give you a real example. Last Friday, I traded this pair, GJ. So we all get the alert from Starseed here, Great Britain Yen over here. I traded this pair. I also traded this Great Britain Swiss franc, I didn't trade this, but I just trade GJ and here, Great Britain Swiss franc. I lost this one, but this one I make 1 to 15 from two trades. Now, let me show it to you. Here is the buy order block, right? This is the break of structure and the order block is the last bearish candle. If it is a supply and demand, you slash number two. So here is a gap. So this is your supply, but because we are trading the order block, so here is our order block even though that we are not focusing on the imbalance when we are trading the order block but as you can see almost every of our alert there is always the gap so it qualified also for you if you want to trade the the supply and demand you can also see it there is imbalance there is the gap in almost every of our order block let's take a look again unless it is a continuation this is a continuation so Let's take a look this one. You see that? This is order block. There is the gap. Slash. This is basically our supply. And here again, there is the gap. So even though I do not focus on the imbalance, but most of our alert usually have imbalance. You just can check it. So anyway, let's redraw this. So let's go back here. Now go to daily or H4 to determine market direction, which if you are a member of Starship FX, you don't have to do that. You just wait for the alert from us there. When you receive the alert, you just go directly to M15. Now, you can refine to a lower time frame and mark or your supply or demand zone. In this case, let's go back here. So here is the first 
break above the clear one but basically you can choose this as the first break of structure this is break below based on the one to three pattern i highly recommend you to take a look the video about one to three pattern so you can get early reversal pattern if you will so here is the break below this is break above so basically this is my order block and there it is not a clear because there are only two candle here for supply and demand so you will basically highlight the week as your demand and then let's go to m15 i'm sorry i mean m5 so you can refine all this like if this is the break of structure so where is your supply and demand here slash this one and make this one become your supply it didn't work then you want to see another one because sometimes in one leg you can find several supply if there are several gap so here between this one there is no gap but as for the order block this is the last bearish candle so what I did I just put it at 50% it hit and my take profit target was the last high and here I took it 1 to 10 this is the reversal pattern from here based on a chalk 1 to 3 pattern reversal again you want to check this video part 12 let's trade simple as 1 2 3 you will learn how to trade the reversal from there it is a quick video and simple so this is a reversal pattern based on 1 2 3 while a continuation all you have to do you just continue because the market is a buy so you only want to buy you can keep looking for break above let's see what is the continuation look like here so this was my entry over here last friday i took it at 50 percent i take it one two ten and the second one i was scaling based on this one this break of structure oh why is it so difficult over here there from this candle to this candle this is the break of structure and my order block is the last bearish candle before the breakout happened if you want to trade supply in demand this is your demand also the same like order block there because this is the break of structure and this is one two three candle slash number two you see there is the gap so this is your demand which also the same as my order block so this was my entry and for some reason for this i took only one to five because i thought the price will come back here to take this one or this one so i just took it one to five but it didn't and then it continued and hit my first trade one to ten and then this finish with one to five and that's it i got one to fifteen so that is how you trade supply and demand zone it is up to you if we go back here again sometimes supply and demand zone choosing the same candle exactly as the order block sometimes it is not but basically they are closely related and their zone almost around the same as the order block so it's really up to you how you want to choose supply demand zone or combine it both I personally trade based on the order block but there is nothing wrong for you to understand that this is a demand zone and this is a supply and whichever you want to choose now for those of you who have known me for quite some time you guys know that I like to trade simple right just like I show it to you I just wait for the order block from h4 and then trade it on m15 it can be good it can be bad it can be a losing one it can be a winning one like this but usually it gives you at least one to five or one to ten just by following like what i'm doing here by receiving the alert from uh starseed fx here but i gotta tell you there are actually other method which is for order block or supply and demand which is more complex like this one to me this is complex maybe for some people it's not but for me personally this is complex but it's working so this i call it a king pattern kind of if you want to trade more complex pattern especially if you are a scalper you want to learn this pattern if you are a scalper because it works so well for the scalper so if you want to learn more about this i would highly suggest you to learn with kyle kyle sharing hundreds of hours of video over here to teach you about supply and demand more thorough also there is marcus teaching here you can also get one-on-one -on -one training with them if you want to go more in depth kyle can make five to ten percent easily a day you can get one-on-one -on -one training with him it's very affordable for members even though 
I do not trade this. I understand. It's really good. I just don't really trade it because I like to trade simple like I show it to you. You see, I just see one, two, three pattern and take it on 50%. It has been working for me like this. But some people like to trade in more advanced way, which is good. But maybe some of you also want to trade just simple like me, like this. That's also good because I've proven to be able to work a full time trader just by trading like this on M5, M15 or above. I just don't trade on M1 for now because it's still too fast for me. But I just trade starting from m5 or m15 this way so as for now let me give you a quick overview how this complex trading looks like in case you want to learn more you can learn with kyle but this is basically the basic how it works so here's how it works there should be a break of structure and then it create a demand and then there is inducement means like a fake move before real move happen this is the real move after coming back to a demand filling the gap because after the break of structure there must be the gap here and then it create a demand so this is the real move but a good pattern or a good trading for this pattern is that there must be inducement taken by the price which is this price and preferably there is also liquidity being taken some people used as dollar sign kyle put it as x the liquidity taken i will just put it x men so basically this is equal high equal low and then taken by the price that is liquidity grab liquidity is uh where the retail trader plays their stop loss then it's taken by the smart money by the banks you think i'm joking with this uh, king pattern here you go seriously it happens so many times there is the break of structure and then there is inducement here is the liquidity grab or the x-men and then coming back here hit the king demand and after sometimes it hit the queen supply so if you want to trade it this way you can learn but what i do i usually just trade simple like i just show it to you i just wait for the alert and then go to m15 and then wait for the pattern if you dig deeper this pattern is actually could give king pattern like this you just have to learn to find out into more detail but I just like to trade it easy. There is break below, break above, and then this is my order block, put 50%. If it is working, it's working. Sometimes it doesn't work. And the target, usually the last high. This is the first last high. This is the second last high. That's what I do. This is on the reversal. This is on the continuation. You see, this is the break of structure over here. If you just trade on M15, you are not going to a lower time frame. You can also do that. Once you receive the alert, you go to M15 find the reversal pattern and then here another break of structure so this break structure is from this candle so this is our order block if i put it at 50 percent i didn't get it if i put it with the full candle i got it so there is always plus and minus whichever that you want to trade but i personally i like to trade simple but it doesn't mean that the complex one doesn't work but if you want to trade on minutes chart I suggest you to learn about this if you want to trade on minutes chart. This also work on a higher time frame chart, but to me, if it is a higher time frame, I just trade as simple as possible because that's easy or less headache to me. So I'm not against all those who trade complex like this because I know it's very good. Anyway, that is all for today. I hope now you understand how to trade the supply and demand. It is actually closely related with the order block. So it is up to you, whichever you want to trade, as long as it makes money for you. Thank you. Bye-bye.